Hey there, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 2, Lesson 5, Finding Two Equations for Each Relationship. After this lesson, you need to be able to find two constants of proportionality for a proportional relationship, and you need to be able to write two equations representing a proportional relationship described by a table or story. After this lesson, you'll know you're successful if you can find the two constants of proportionality and you can write two equations that represent a table or story. So in this lesson, we really only have one example here, pretty short. We're going to find two equations, okay? One going forward and one going the opposite direction. So here's our example. Karen argues with a store manager at a constant rate of four times per week. The number of arguments she gets in, A, is proportional to the number of weeks, W. Let's start by making a table. So I'm going to start with the number of weeks, and we can figure out how many arguments she has been in, keeping it in a proportional relationship. We know that she gets in four arguments per week. So if one week passes, that would mean she's been in four arguments. Based on this, we need to be able to find our constant of proportionality. So I would take my end, which was four, and my start, which is one, and divide. Four divided by one is four. We also could have noticed that one is our unit rate. So the number that goes with it, 4, is our constant of proportionality. So in our table, we are multiplying by 4 each time. So if 2 weeks passed, she would be in 8 arguments. Well, what if we don't know how many weeks, but we want to know how many arguments she would have been in after that many weeks? So if I have W weeks, well, in order to figure out how many arguments she's been in, we would multiply the weeks by 4. So I would say 4 times weeks, 4w. Now, to put our equation together, we're going to look at our output, our end, which is our arguments, and what did we have to do with our input to get there? So my output a, in order to figure out A, I had to take W and multiply it by 4. I can see this in the table because in my last row, if I had W weeks, my arguments is equal to 4W. If I want to write an equation, then I would just say that A, our arguments, is equal to 4w, 4 times the number of weeks. There's one of our equations. Our other equation is going backwards. What if we know the number of arguments she's been in, and we want to figure out how many weeks it's been? I'm going to fill in the table the same way as before, so I know that one week was equal to 4 arguments. So I filled it in in the same order, I just reversed the position on the table. So that way, arguments is my input, weeks is my output. Again, I need to find my constant of proportionality, so I could do my end, 1, divided by my beginning, my start, 4, I could have 1 fourth. Or, Hopefully by now you just realize that your constants of proportionality are just reciprocals of each other. So if you have 4 for one of the constants of proportionality, then the reciprocal of that would be our other, 1 fourth. Using 1 fourth now as our constant of proportionality, if Karen had 8 arguments, okay, we can multiply that by 1 fourth. That must mean that it has been two weeks. Just like with the weeks, 
if I don't know exactly how many arguments, so let's say A, but I want to know how many weeks it's been, well, this time I just multiply by one fourth. So I would take my arguments times one fourth, and that would tell me how many weeks. Just like before, I'm looking at my variables. So the number of weeks, w, must be equal to the number of arguments times one fourth. So our equation would be w equals one fourth a. Notice our two equations are very similar, as they should be. The only difference is one of them you're going from weeks to arguments, the other one you're going from arguments to weeks. And our constants of proportionality are related as well. They are reciprocals of each other. In this lesson, we learned that if we know two things are proportional to each other, for example, distance and time, we could write an equation that relates the amount of time to figure out the distance. Here, if Kieran rode for 10 miles per hour, we could just take his time, multiply that by 10, and we could figure out his distance. Similarly, if we wanted to figure out how much time it took him, still going 10 miles per hour, we could just take his distance and multiply that by 1 tenth, and that would tell us our time. Again, with these things being proportional to each other, their constants of proportionality are reciprocals. And we can use that fact to help relate the two to each other and write our two equations. In general, we would say that y is proportional to x, and we would write it as y equals kx. But going in reverse, if we wanted to say x is proportional to y, okay, where we know y first, our constant of proportionality is our reciprocal, and we would say that x is equal to 1 over k times y. Okay? Things are just switched again. Our constant of proportionality is reciprocal. And we have our two equations. One of them where it tells us our value for x, and one of them where it tells us our value for y. So now, after this lesson, do you know how to find the two constants of proportionality? And can you write two equations that represent either the table or a story? If not, Go back and look at the example and focus on how we found the constants of proportionality and used them to write the equations. And that's the end of lesson five on finding two equations.